Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the reselling white boy. Don't be offended by the name. Uh, literally, I'm a white kid, I'm a white boy, and I resell on eBay to make a profit. I'm a part time reseller, been doing it for four years now. Uh, so, we're just going to do a sales update, see what's selling through these tough times at the minute. Um, if you like the video, click like, leave a comment. Um, I really want to get some live streams going with like minded people, get some good conversations going. And to the couple of people who dislike every video of mine, you don't want to make an enemy out of me. And I'm looking right into the camera and I'm going to see it again. You do not want to make an enemy out of me. I'm not having it. Right, so let's get into it. First sale today. Um, it's a Kylo Ren costume, 7 to 8. I've uh, been selling quite a few of these during book week. And then they've trickled for you over the last few weeks. Uh, I've sold 12 in total for 13 99 um, I've been picking these up for two ninety nine uh, in bulk, so yeah, good sellers, not major profit, but we're keeping them rolling. Um, kids' costumes sell throughout the year, but particularly Halloween, Christmas time, you know when they got parties and stuff going on, book weeks one, you, you know they are constant sellers, but in certain times obviously they do spike. But yeah, if you see any, pick them up, save them for the later dates. Next one, we've got Simpsons Hit and Run, Platinum on PS two. Nice and easy. Couple of photos. 10 99 we got. Uh, pay a pound. So yeah, look out for this one. The platinum one is a little bit more sought after. But yeah, the better the condition, the more you can ask for it. 10 99 is pretty top end for hit and run. Next two items sold to the same person. Uh, so they both went in the same large letter. Uh, so we saved on the postage. So we got 6 99 for Ratchet Gladiator. Uh, so this is from the Ratchet and Clank series on PlayStation. And Super Monkey Ball Deluxe, uh, both complete with manuals. Got four for four ninety nine for that, six ninety nine for that. Uh, so yeah, quick sale, same package. Boom, bada bing. Next one, we've got an anti WP Stafford Herb Deer Manufacturer. So you might have seen this in a recent pickup video. Uh, it's from nineteen oh eight, Denton, Manchester, near me. Um, so yeah, I got forty nine ninety nine for this, which was amazing. Uh, picked it up for two forty nine, I believe, from the British Heart Foundation. So yeah, it's an awesome pickup. But look out for stuff like this. Obviously, I'm no antique guy. I don't know much at all. But the more you pick up things, trial and error, the more you learn. So you'll have an eye for the things in the future. Um, the only annoying thing about this one is, it went to Argos. Argos closed down with the coronavirus. Um, so the gentleman who bought it had no way of accessing it. So Argos, with every order they received, sent straight back to the seller so this is on the way back to me the gents you know got into contact with me and said oh i couldn't get it they've returned it can you send it to my real uh, my actual address because he'd normally go and collect from argos so i'm going to wait for that to come back send that out to him he said he'd cover the postage uh, so props to him but a bit of an iron one you'd think argos would you know do a little bit something more for that but obviously with the times going on it closed down so literally nothing they can do anyway um, so next one, got a, an Orvis pullover, a warm uh, jumper, pullover jumper for men, um, small, you know, it's a small one, nothing special, got it from a jumble sale for a pound, got £17.99, so a really nice one, uh, it's a, it is a brand to look out for, it's not a great seller, um, but yeah, I picked up quite a few shirts, Orvis shirts, and they, they're doing quite well, I've sold one up to now. Um, and the rest have got a lot of watches. Uh, yeah, so one to look out for really. For a pound you can't go wrong. Nice easy package to send. Easy as easy as Larry. Easy as Larry. Happy as Larry. Next one. Uh, this is the Orvis RV shirt I was talking about. So it's a medium Crawford style safari shirt. Good condition. A little faded. Um, it's like a washed red as I put in the title. It's got twenty nine ninety nine for this one. Paid three ninety nine in the charity shop. As I said, I did pick up seven Orvis shirts in this one charity shop. So that's paid back every single shirt. So for the rest of them, I'll be in profit. So yeah, one to look out for, Orvis. It's like a fishing safari type uh, brand. It's a bit off the radar really, but I've come to know, them, come to know it recently and it's a good seller. Next one, Yamaha DD10. Digital drum bank, uh, this is like a little drum machine, quite an old one, but it's in really nice condition. Yamaha is always a, a good brand to go with, 
But yeah, nice condition, it is battery powered and you can put a wire in it so it didn't have its wire, it's just battery powered. DD10, got $29.99 for that one and that cost me a tenner on the car boot sale. The only car boot sale I've been this year, one or two have been on the same day. It's a shame really with what's going on. Um, yeah, leave a comment, you know, are you sourcing at all now? Uh, can you do any pickups at all or obviously with the government guidelines now? Restriction, ret uh, restricting everyone's movement. Are we allowed? If if we are making a living off this, is it our job to go and pick something up off Facebook? You know, a collection like a local collection. You know, where do you think we stand with that? Uh, leave a comment down below. Next one, we've got a piano and recorder, children's learning books. So yeah, just really simplistic, very thin books. Went all in a large letter. Um, these were 10p each from the same jumble sale as that Orvis jumper. Got £7. It's a cheap large letter to send. Not, nothing major, but with kids getting homeschooled now, one of the, you know, little uh, learning books and stuff like that probably will be flying on the, off the shelves. Um, so yeah, worth looking out for at this time. Obviously we won't be sourcing much, but if you have any educational stuff, any gym equipment, resistance bands, anything like that, get them listed. Honestly, they are flying. Next one, we've got this McDonald's pole figure from that jumble sale again. I've sold some of these in the past. Uh, so we've got 10p for this one, and it got 6 99 got two more available. The same one, obviously with the shipping, it's like £2.20 or something like that with Hermes. So it does take a chunk of your, your profit. But the 10p investment, you pr it's all profit anyway. So it's one of those. Get them moving. If I sell them all, which I will do eventually, it's about £11, £12 profit. Next one is the Cluedo Vintage Bookshelf Board Game. Uh, quite a collectible one, really nice. Gold on the side. So it's got a vintage game collection in the side there. Um, so it's a really nice, fully complete, all its pieces and stuff. Um, so yeah, really nice one, that. £25.99. Paid £3 for that, I believe. Possibly. But yeah, I won't. To be honest, if I did see this one, I would pay up. I probably would pay a tenner for it. Obviously, there's not great money in it at a tenner, but I think I did pay £3. Next one, we have got a Sony Boombox stereo player with a tape player. Uh, you would have seen a couple of these on my packaging video from last week. Uh, but I paid £10 for this one. And it's in really nice condition. Give it a little clean up. And it's sold really well. I think it went to Germany, this one. So yeah, package it well. Should get there in one piece, you'd hope. Next one, we have got a Coronation Street 10-year... DVD set, so I think it's got 80 episodes, yeah, featuring the 80 landmark episodes from the 2000s. So I paid 2 99 for this, I think, from a charity shop, got 26 99 so one to look out for, this is brand new and sealed. So yeah, I did pick up 1970-79, and uh, I've just listed that, so that was 2 50 the other day, looking at about £30 again for that. But yeah, with people being at home, stuff like this, Corey will be going off the screen soon with the actual filming not being on so people will want to get the fix you know and um yeah dvds stuff like that will be flying at the moment next one we've got a power rangers bundle these were retail arbitrage uh, if i said it right i'm not sure um can't get my words out tonight but yeah paid 5.99 each for these so 6 12 18 pounds um 18 probably about 350 postage so yeah there's not great money in it after fees there's probably about eight pound profit you know there's not much in it but I picked up a load of them. They'll trick, you know, they'll be slow trickle sellers. Um, it's one of those for the investment and the return. It's not great profit. You don't really want to be putting twenty quid into something and getting, you know, eight pound uh, profit. So, yeah, not the greatest sale, but we made we made profit. So at the end of the day, we're paying the bills. Next one is a vintage Rotel stereo amp. Uh, you, you would have seen this when I was packaging it again. Uh, I paid seventeen pound fifty with this with a different one. Uh, my screen is wobbling. Yeah, so I did pay £17.50 for this. Um, so yeah, single condition, few little marks and whatnot. But yeah, we sold it for £99.99. One bid in the end. Uh, so yeah, really nice. Obviously with the pictures, not very professional. Okay, next one. Got the Nam Namco Arcade Stick. So you did see that I sold the PlayStation 2 with the bus controllers. Uh, so I picked this up with all that bundle and that was £25 from a charity shop um, so we sold that for 45 and then we sold this for 65 so well into profit with that bundle uh, it's in really nice condition boxed up it was for the PlayStation 1 
and it does work for the PlayStation too. So yeah, really nice condition as you can see. Uh, box is in good nick too. So yeah, always adds value because people, collectors and stuff. I collect a little bit myself, but yeah, inbox collectors that want that book. Uh, want that box right up there, prize possession. So yeah, definitely this box won't be just going in the loft. This will be in someone's game room. All right, next one. It's a CD collection. Got sixteen pounds for this. Uh, it was two fifty three pounds, something like that. Um, yeah, not a great seller because it cost about four quid to send. Um, so yeah, not much profit in it. But yeah, if you ever see one of these like compilation box sets, pound or two, you can't really grovel. Um, they're easy sellers with media. It's a quick photograph at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, all all of them were in there, all in good condition. I think it sold on its first cycle. So yeah, easy as that really. Next one we've got Spyro on the PS1. Uh, I think this, uh, yeah, it was. I don't think it was complete. I think it was just its manual or just its slipcover. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's got its manual on that. So I've got 11 99 for that. Paid a pound in the charity shop uh, for a PS1 game bundle, really. So, a pound each for the games. One to look out for. I've got £12 with the manual. You could probably ask a preview on that. Um, so, yeah. Next one. I've got a hands pre. Hands pre, yeah. Hands pre. Uh, 21 and a half inch LED monitor. Um, I got three monitors for £100. Um, so we've got this Hans G1 and I've got two Acer ones which you would have seen in a previous video. Um, so yeah, sold all them three now. Um, so we've got £70 for that, paid 100 for the three, so we're well into profit with that now. So yeah, pretty simple. It was a Facebook pickup, three for 100 quid, uh, so they each owe me £33 each. Next one, Charlene Harris, Sucky Stackhouse box set. Is that what it's said? Yeah, it is. that sounded really wrong in my head. Not sure why. Um, but yeah, paid 2 50 for this. Got 16 99 Again, I've not sent it yet. Probably will be 4 quid to send. So after fees and stuff, only about £8. But at the end of the day, it's a profit. That's probably, you know, that's an hour's wage, you know. Um, so yeah, last but not least, we've got London 2012 Xbox game. Um, simple, complete with manual. Nice, easy seller. Got £8 for it. Paid a pound. So yeah, this is the only Olympics which will be going ahead this year because um, they didn't make a 2016 Rio game. I think it was like an extension, or they never made a physical copy. Um, so yeah, people play this game. A lot of YouTubers still play it, so it's quite a popular one. Uh, obviously, for eight pound, it's not worth paying up for. Pay a pound, you can't go wrong. Straight into a large letter. Bob's your uncle. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I appreciate your time, I appreciate you being here, uh, I really want to get more videos going, get more videos rolling, but with the time at the minute, um, we've got a lot of hardship going on in the community, obviously with the coronavirus, so I'll do what I can to make some more videos, sales are going to slow down, I'm, I'm going to limit myself to two drop-offs a week, Monday and Thursday, um, so yeah, it's one of those where we don't want to be making loads of trips, we can't source, I don't think I'm going to source personally, um, I don't think it's worth going getting Facebook pickups or whatnot. I'm just going to work through what I've got at home and that should see me out for the foreseeable future. So I'll just go into the last little segment now, as you know, I just recommend a YouTuber that I watch um, while I'm packaging, you know, when I'm chilling out, just to get away from the whole reselling game, what else can you watch on YouTube? Because a lot of reselling youtubers only watch reselling youtubers so it's just why don't broaden your horizons and um, yeah you don't want to watch it you don't want to watch it but I'll see you in a moment so this guy might not be for everybody I discovered him on the true Jordy podcast when he told his story of when he you know he's got a really crazy story I would recommend that let me just pop over to that one and um, now give me a second so true Jordy great podcast as well uh, true Jordy podcast Sean Atwood. So yeah, England's Wolf of Wall Street, part one, part two, part three. Basically, he came up as a youngster during the rave scene. He became a distributor of lots of drugs and whatnot. He went and did his time in America. He's out now. He's now a civil rights activist. You know, he's an activist for a lot of people who have had hardships in their life. But recently, with the coronavirus and all the media attention it's getting, he's bringing some truths to it. 
Um, so it's, obviously it's not for everybody. You know, people want to escape the media when they're on YouTube. But he gets different um, people on from Italy, Spain, and gets people's accounts of what's going on. Um, so it's just an interesting take on things. So, for example, let's have a look. Reporting from Italy's lockdown. Um, he, obviously, he has his podcast with different criminals and stuff from the past. Um, but yeah, he just speculates what's going on, and you know, he's not a scaremonger. He just tells you how it is, really, and he's a, he's a nice guy. But yeah, pop over to his channel. That is Sean Atwood on YouTube. But if you're not familiar with him, watch his True Jordy podcast. Uh, this one here, and it's it's a really cool video. So. Peace guys, like the video, leave a comment, I appreciate you all. Uh, as I said, I do want to get some live streams going with like-minded people, get some conversations going, you know. At the moment, that's all we can do, speak to people online. So, you know, if anyone wants to have a chat, um, I'm feel free to leave a comment. We'll get something organised. Uh, peace out guys, I'll see you in a bit.